One. I got this one more. Okay, put it in. You want some more? Go get some more. Uh, <laughs> I need some more this one. Sure. <laughs> Banana mango, strawberry banana. And this one. Oh, that's so plenty na. <laughs> Luna. Oh, it's Lola go out. Go, ibutang. Go, climb up. Okay, go. Thank you. Is there more? Hello, ibutang sa ka about oil. Hey, give me a hand, Tiona. You want me to climb na? Little helper up here. A beer. Thank you, honey. Thank you, my little helper. High five. How do you send the picture like this? Yeah, it's already taking a, whatever you see, it's already taking a video. I see you. Okay, show Sevi. Alright guys, it is my mom's birthday tomorrow, which means that we are gonna have a very early morning, like 7 a.m., 7.30 a.m. breakfast at her house to surprise her, and I'm in charge of fruits. So I got my fruit delivery already. Look how big. Because I can't just order fruits for my mom. I also have to order fruits for my kids. Oh my gosh. Are we gonna do another fruit unboxing? I'm dami. Look at that. All of my boys, later included, they all love fruits so much. So I got apples, oranges, bananas, of course, hindi mawawala ang strawberries, which I'm also gonna be sharing to my mom. She requested for avocados, but they don't have stock, so. Ugh. Got a huge watermelon instead, which Sevi has been asking for for the longest time. I also got this hammy melon. It's just my favorite now. It's so refreshing. So I like to juice this and actually drink it as my snack. Para pa healthy. So we are almost all set for my mom's breakfast. I'm also in charge of the decor that's happening for her birthday dinner tomorrow. And my siblings and I were just joking na, grabe no, hindi ko daw experience yon na may pa surprise in the morning or may pa decorations daw sa party kasi the kids that I have are all boys and usually it's the girls who prepare these things. I don't know, but in my family, Family, that's true in Slater's family that's true like Slater never plans anything for his family it's usually the daughters who do it I don't know if it's the same in your family or if that's a generalization leave a comment down below if you're a guy or you have a brother that likes to plan so I'm curious very very curious Just eating snacks. Yeah, we'll Sevi eating yeah. all the snacks. Oh, horut na. And it's horut na.
Good morning. It is 6.45 a.m. and we are getting ready super early in the morning while Saxon is right here feeding. I always laugh when I do this and people always laugh when they see me do it because it is a sign of how much of a breastfeeding veteran I am. This position is super effective. It gets me to do a lot of things at the same time. Feeding my baby and getting my makeup done or working or finishing a deadline or editing something. But it kills my back because I have to like really hunch down over. The kids are still sleeping even though it's close to 7 a.m. They're supposed to leave anytime now for school. And I'm debating whether or not to wake them up or to just make them late. It's so funny, no? Because before when I was younger, my mom would always wake me up at a certain time so that I wouldn't be late for school. But now, I don't want to disrupt their sleep because I know sleep is so important for health. So then, do I wake them up to make them punctual but slightly affect their health? Or do I let them sleep, make them more healthy, but then make them super late for school? I don't know. That's my dilemma this morning. For my makeup look today, I've only put on some of this. This is the BLK Skin Tint Sun Shield. I've actually been really enjoying using it because it gives a really, really light coverage. So you can really see still my freckles, but it kind of just evens out your skin tone. And it's so watery and light. I really like it. It's like you're not wearing anything. And then of course, this one, which is what you saw me apply earlier. It is the Sunny Studios Liquid Blush in Super Pink. And it is super duper pink. For my blush today, we are going with one of my favorites, Happy Skin Petal Glow. It's this beautiful pink. And I also am really enjoying this really small brush that came with it. This is from the Marge X Happy Skin Collection. And I feel like blush is my new favorite makeup of all now because it just really gives you that youthful glow no matter how tired or haggard I am. If I just apply blush, and I apply it differently now, I apply it a lot higher, like right under my under eye concealer. And it just makes me look like I'm not tired at all. For my brows, I will do this skinny brow pencil from Mersey. Oh, are you okay? My boobs get so engorged also in the morning, so then Saxon has a lot to drink, and sometimes it comes out so quickly that he chokes on my milk. Oh. Yes, my Saxon can. Oh, you want to transfer? Hold on. Hold on. One second. Hello! Oh. Other side. He is hungry. Here. I don't really do much to my brows because I already got it microbladed a few, I wanna say years ago, a few months ago. I don't know. My concept of time is not timing. But I got it done by Pauline Elia of Permanent Makeup Manila and she's really the best. I really love my brows when she does it. I will rent a car and go all the way to her place in Alabang just to make sure she's the one who does it for me. It's worth it. And then I can't reach my makeup because there's a child on my boob. I'm going to use this one, BLK Brow Power Lift. This is my brow grip. There you go. Scotty's awake. That means I need to rush. Rush getting ready and I will catch you guys later. Happy birthday to Mila! Happy birthday to Mila! Say thank you, Mila! Hi! You're holding your uncle? You want to hold? <laughs> I want to do it in the bike. <laughs> you like it? Hello, mommy will get it. <laughs> do you want to touch it? <laughs> Hi, Artie. What's your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, go back Ma, to your chair. I love the old bag that you bought me. Scotty teases mommy now <laughs> by saying silly things like bread and <coughs> kubra, right? 
So since Scotty's being silly talking with a silly accent, he's asked me to talk in a British accent. Right, honey? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. Are we gonna eat and drink your water? Yeah. I can't do it very well, but Scotty laughs when I do it, so I still do it. <laughs> All right, you gotta eat your food. <laughs> Put Would your you? spoon in your mouth, Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Mama. I love you, Scotty Boo. Sometimes it can be difficult to manage three little boys, mm. especially when they're all together and there's sibling rivalry and grabbing of toys and accidents everywhere. But you know what I find? Having one-on-one -on -one time with them is actually really special and really easy. Scotty thrives on one-on-one -on -one time, right, Scotty? He loves it. And he's the best boy when it's just him and mom, right? Hmm. I don't like the fish sauce. You don't like the fish sauce? You don't have to eat the fish sauce. It's too oily. <laughs> okay, nobody told you to eat it, babes. And it's too sweet. Oh, it's too sweet, all right. And, and I don't like the taste. Oh, you don't like the taste. Either. And I don't like the feeling when I eat it. What does it feel like when you eat it? It feels like it's tickling my throat. Oh, okay, I thought you were gonna say, I feel sad when I eat the fish. Oh, can you prepare your food by yourself? I don't think. Of course? Did I hear you say of course? Yeah. Let's see if he can really do it. I don't think he can do it by himself. Is he doing it? Oh, by oh. He got it off the bone by himself. And he put it in his mouth. Quite amazing, I have to say so much. Oh. <laughs> Who is the person that you love the most in the whole wide world? You! I love you too. Who is the next after mom that you love the most? Daddy. Really? And then? Rhea. Really? Wow. Yeah, yeah, Rhea. And then? My, my. And then? What about Tobo and Saxon? Yeah. <laughs> And Uber bread. I love the Uber <laughs> bread also more. Okay. Tolo is three. Opak is four. Lima is five. Unum is six. Bitu is seven. Walo is eight. Siam is nine. Sepulu is ten. This is how we count on the island of Cebu. Wow! Good job! All right, guys, guess what? It is quiet in the sky pod. All the children are asleep. I have just finished breastfeeding Saxon, spending time with Scotty, feeding him, putting Sevi to bed, and now I want to show you that my home office is once again in my closet. Now, if you guys have been a follower of my vlog for a long time now, then you would know that this situation has happened before. I was again relocated to my closet because Sevi took over my nursery. And then I was so happy to finally move back into my home office and have my own space once Sevi started to adjust and adapt and learn to sleep in Scotty's room. But now that Saxon has taken over my nursery, I just felt like working in the kitchen on a bar stool with all of the kids constantly yelling behind my back. It wasn't great for my senses and it wasn't great for my back because I was always hunched over. So I decided to make the most out of my closet space once again and move back here. And we're back. My new strategy now is to breastfeed Saxon here. So while I'm working, I can hide from the two very hyperactive children and I can breastfeed Saxon here in peace and work at the same time as you saw earlier this morning. I am able to multitask while breastfeeding now. The only problem is sometimes there are spills that happen in my work area. Like in the case of my old keyboard, breast milk spilled all over it. So now it's wrecked. Good thing Hubs picked up the hobby of finding fun keyboards. Now he has a spare one and now I can use it. The good thing about it is I'm getting a lot of work done now. The bad thing about it is I always see the clutter that's in my closet every single day. But don't worry, I will work on it. Hello. This was our little outfit for Mommy Love's birthday breakfast. Look at that. <laughs> that's my Saxon. Hi. Hi, Sky fam. He's such a little cutie. Huh? If you hear that weird construction noise, it is construction noise, so I apologize. But you want to do a little Saxon Kent update? Yes? Saxon and Mommy, 
We'll sit here. We will do a little Saxon Kent update. He loves it the most when he can see a face. Right, honey? When he sees a face, especially if it's my face, his eyes will instantly, I call it the McDonald's eyes, like he instantly forms these little super cute smiley eyes. So this little boy has been such a blessing. Like I know we didn't really expect his arrival, but I can't imagine life without him now. He is so precious. And even though I'm back to breastfeeding, which is probably the hardest thing about having a newborn, when I'm not with him and when I'm not breastfeeding him, like if I have an event for the day or a work thing, that I have to leave the house for. I instantly miss him already. I don't know how kids have the ability to do that. Like they weren't part of your life a few months ago and suddenly now when they're apart from me, I feel like I'm so incomplete. Right, Sax? He talks to me now, which is so cute. He purrs. Whoa! You like that? <sighs> Mama. <sighs> he smiles, right? And when he sees my dad, he's the same also. He loves my dad so much. Right, baby? What's amazing about this guy, which happened just about like two or three days ago, is that he's sleeping through the night now. So his last feed is at 7 p.m. And then he doesn't wake up until 6.30 in the morning. So that's almost 12 hours of sleep. I think I would say 11 hours of sleep. And he's good to go. Isn't that amazing? He's turning three months in a week. Oh, time has just flown by so fast for this little cutie. <laughs> We're practicing Saxon's tummy time. Tummy time. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> yes, cutie pie. Hello. Practicing his neck muscles here. Yeah. Huh. Oh. Yeah, hi. Oh, a little milk is coming out. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. There you go. What a cutie pie. Okay. This is the book you want to read? Yeah, the giant book. This is but, a giant book? But they got that from there. Yeah, you got it from there. Where is the sheep? Can you see the sheep? There's the sheep. Do you see the cow? There. I spy with my little eye an eagle. Don't and they don't wanna play spy. Oh, you don't wanna play spy? Okay. Where is the rooster? Rooster over at the good. top. That's at the right. top. What's the sound of the rooster? <laughs> really? Is it not tuk tuka? Tuka. Yeah, that's the sound. That's the sound. I see a little eye, a bird. You spy with your little eye, a bird? Yeah. Yeah, that's a crow. Okay, next page. In the forest, I spy with my little eye a long neck giraffe. I see a long neck. Crocodile long neck. Long tail, you mean? Long tail. There's a crocodile. There's a crocodile there, but the neck is so small. It's so short. Are you scared of the crocodile? Yeah. It's going to bite you. Just ah. kidding. Just kidding. How about? How about? This one. <gasps> I see something that yes. Sevy likes. Orca. That's right. I oh, yeah, like this one. Oh, you like that one too? What color is it? I like this one too. Oh, Ahia likes that one. Yeah, that's right. What? Ahia, Sevi said that you like the shark. No, I like the orca. Everybody likes the orca. Mommy likes the jellyfish. Jellyfish, 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 jellyfish. I like the orca. Just like chop, chop the jellyfish. The orca's gonna eat the jellyfish? Won't it get stung by the jellyfish tentacles? Yeah, are gonna no. be megalodon shark. Aya. It was. Oh, I guess megalodon. No, the orca will. Boom! Ooh. Ooh. That Ooh. Was, that's what the orca will do to the jellyfish. Okay. To make it a tie. What do you want to be, Tobster? A shark. You want to be a shark. Okay. I want to be a orca. Okay. Then I will not. I will not. I will not. I Oh, that hurts, Daddy. That hurts. That's my terrible bite to the jellyfish. I'm gonna 
<laughs> and then the bite savvy with a very strong bite. That can, that can cause blood mom. to that savvy shark. Savvy is a shark. And I'm gonna, and Yareya will be the octopus, <laughs> and, and you will be the dry fish, daddy will be the squid. And I will be, worker savvy will be shark. The shark and, will be... And, 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 <laughs> Can you guys hear us? We're trying out my new camera with face tracking. So this is a wide lens and then if we remove it with without. So we just finished our feed, right? And I'm trying to get him to poop because he keeps making these weird sounds and I feel like he wants to do number two, but it just won't go out, right? <laughs> this is my favorite Saxon position because he can see my face. He's very comfortable and he loves to talk to mommy when we're like this, this close, right? Oh, oh. <laughs> I can't believe you're turning three months old soon. Yeah, time surely flies so fast. Time flies so fast. Time flies so fast. Time flies so fast. I also like to put him in this position because it's so freaking adorable. Sometimes he likes it, but sometimes he does not. <laughs> Look at him. He's a little big boy sitting down by himself. I can't imagine what life was without you, my little one. Soon, this is going to be complete. This is going to be Scotty's, this is going to be Sevy's, and this is going to be Saxon's. And we are planning to turn this whole entire room into the kids' playroom. So goodbye, office. This is going to be filled with their toys. <laughs> right now, it's filled with all of my office stuff. The calendar is now empty, and we only have Saxon's schedule here <laughs> that I taped there. And we have all of these books from the sky here on top, all of my gift wrapping essentials. But this will soon all be covered in toys. And this whole area, I think I want to turn it into like a wall climbing area, which Scotty's super into. And this whole area will be filled with all of their toys, hopefully, when the renovation is done. If the renovation will ever <laughs> complete, because it's taking a long time. But I don't want to stress hubs out with it. Right, Sax? We don't want to stress out Daddy, because Daddy's so busy. So we're just going to be chilling. I feel like it's going to be another probably six months, I want to say. <laughs> Oh, oh, God bless you. The weather outside today is super duper gloomy. Yaya says there's going to be five storms coming. I don't know if that's true. What do you think? Hmm? So we have just canceled a lot of our plans. And we're going to spend more time together. A cozy day in. You want to say, I'll see you next time, Sky Fam. Mom and I are going to play. Yes? Hmm? Goodbye, Sky Fam. See ya when I see ya. Bye. <laughs> Appalachian sunrise.